Hey. Welcome back to the small Astro Boy Mega Factor. In the last episode, we went up to the moon to try and save a boy named Daichi, but he turned out to be a robot named Atlas. We revealed that Astro was also made by Dr. Tanma. Same as him. Today's episode, we're gonna move on to stage four. Stage four, Lord Dead Cross. So, Atlas off to who knows where now. I wonder where he went. And who was that beautiful woman? So many questions, so little answers. And Mr. Tokugawa asked Dr. Sh O'Shea to keep all of us a secret. There's something funny going on here. Mr. Tokugawa is filthy rich, so I don't know what he's up to now. Because of all that, there's something much more important. A robot has been elected as the president of the Antarctic. First time a robot has been elected as president ever. His official name is President Rag, and he's really good looking. And he's so young, so full of energy. Asher has been invited to the inauguration ceremony. He's off to the Antarctic. And here I am, stuck at home, once again. Wow, so this is the Marine Express. The underwater express train connects Metropia to the Antarctic. Honor to be invited to such an event to see the first robot president. But I wonder why Dr. O'Shea asked me to attend this event with you. I may believe that something might go wrong at the inauguration ceremony. It has it that the anti-robot group Black Looks is after the president. Smell Astro, you don't look so good. Something wrong with your electronic brain? I wonder if what Atlas said was true. Who is Dr. Tenma really? Is he the person who created me? Why didn't Dr. Roche tell me about any of this? Atlas said that he was nothing but a monster. He said I'd never understand the sorrow that he's faced. My electronic brain is reacting like I've never felt it before. He is a monster. What does that make me? I don't understand. Maybe this is what sorrow feels like. Maybe my soul will start to grow just like a human's. Flowers! Flowers are blooming in the in, in the Antarctic. Welcome to the Antarctic, Astro. We we are truly honored to have the president come here to greet us. Rag. All right. Um. Uh, I think I want another jet at this point. Lisa's probably next if I don't feel like my health's an issue. I am President Rag. Nice to meet you, Astro. I've heard many great things about you. The robots are very proud of you. It, it's my honor to meet you, sir. President, are you sure you're alright? I've heard that you're being targeted by Black Looks. I know there are humans who are not happy with a robot being president. However, that doesn't mean I'll run or hide from them. I was elected president for a reason. The majority believes in me. I should bring about change, understanding, and peace in the Antarctic. Um, yes, certainly. I can imagine a leader not being a robot here in the Antarctic, especially in a cold place like this that required the cooperation of robots. Without robot cooperation, Marine Express would never have been built. It's because of supporters like Duke Red that paved the way, who kindly opened the Antarctic for robots. So, you are Astro. I've heard many great things about you. You're Duke Red, the international counselor. Yes, robots like you are needed for the future of humanity. Hope you get along with my daughter, Nuka. Oh, what's wrong, Nuka? Terrible father. The Black Looks have destroyed the site. What? Duke Red, but he's all greyed out. So... We haven't quite gotten to know him yet. We've got a few question marks here. A weird fellow there. A weird fellow here. Destroy him. Oh, never accept robot as our president. Stop the violence! Oh, the sound it's starting to get destroyed over here. Actually, let's use the super since we have so many. There you go. Work away sorting. What? It looks human, but it's actually a robot. Destroy it, destroy it. Hold it right there. Is that Nuka or is that a different girl? match for him. Let's get out of here. Thank you. My name is Nuka. You? You're also a robot? Yes, you saved my life. Thank you. What? What an elaborate robot. That's not the right word. What, what am I looking for? I'm sure my brain is telling me something, but I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of special feeling, but it's difficult to express. 
Astro, what are you daydreaming about? You're getting away. Go after them. Y yes. All right, Nuka also grayed out. That should be the boss. I'm gonna let him get away. Oh, I see. Doing uh, another one of these. They're coming in from behind now as well. So far so good. No real trouble here. Oh, here we are. Here's the boss of Black Looks, it looks like. Keep shooting. There we go. No, it's a fake. It isn't the real boss. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm just a decoy. I thought I was to lure you away from the president. What? Have you heard of Karabs? It's the world's largest tank robot developed in France. They succeeded in stealing Karabs and converted it into a flying bomb. So now it can fly to its target, the presidential palace. Guess what? Karabs is already headed for the presidential palace. Our invincible monster is equipped with the world's toughest shell. Astro, can you stop the bomb? Oh no, the president and everyone in the palace are in danger. I have to go back now. Alright, now we have some little guys. <laughs> oh. Right, so these things are impervious. So, just have to carefully fly through them. And I guess deal with the enemies along the way. I think we'll pass them. Oh, that was foolish of me. Right, so when they go become weird circles, we can destroy them. Or well, they explode, it looks like. Cool, we broke them all. Alright, oh, if I move forward. Oh, nope, okay. This time it's different. Oh, right, you can tell because before Astro was sort of just sort of standing vertically, whereas this time we're going straight forward. Or these weird missile looking ones. Alright, we can't break those. these guys oh big guys all right I think this is laser, big laser time arm cannon oh perfect I shot the arm cannon just as the guy showed up this must be Karabs watch out don't let it hit you Head's the weak point. Oh, come on now. Should count. There we go. Just have to wait for him to be more on screen, I think. Oh, this is working. Oh, come on. So close. 
There we go. Stage four cleared. Ah, oh, damn, one more second. Would have been funny. Yes, the Antarctic is safe now. Well done, Astro. Great, Astro. You really are the world's strongest robot. Okay, let's get to the inaugural ceremony. Everyone, thanks to you, I, Rag, am the first robot president of the world. All humans and all robots, please listen to me. As I said earlier, I am a robot. Robots were created by humans to help them. The representative for robots, I say we are proud to work for humans. However, recently, humans have begun to fear us. Fear robots with souls, like Astro and myself. Those who fear us, please know this. We only want to work with humans. Look at the Antarctic right now. Flowers are blooming here where this was once a barren land. This was done through the accomplishments of both robots and humans. Let these flowers be, a symbol, be the symbols of collaboration between humans and robots. Let the Antarctic be the first step towards peace between humans and robots. The president! Haha, <laughs> watch and learn, robots. Who are you? I am Dead Cross, I'm leader of Black Looks and represent humanity. Why am I? Such a smooth talk from simple machines. Now listen to me. Robots are tools, nothing more than tools for humans to use. And that's the bottom line. We created you, and we can destroy you at our whim. This is our world, a human's world, and I said nothing less. Hey, wait. Alright. I think we're pretty early in the episode. Let's let's move on and do stage five as well. Go, go and destroy the robots. Understood. So please leave. You've got to leave. Please. Sir, please, you've got to leave. <laughs> Not so fast. too high for some of them but round two there we go we can move on all right big old lasers no run away astro no Try this again, shall we? Ouch. I think I definitely need more health next time. Oh, okay, cool. Black looks. Well, I was just saying, I think we need more life, so I guess the game hurt me. Alright, let's chase after him. Actually maxed out on a super, so I, I should just be—I should not be as sparing as I am. Goodbye, Astro. You're going to use the Marine Express to get away. I won't let him go. Wait. I mean, I might as well use the big one. The issue of using the big one too often is, I guess, the fact that uh, it means it's we're a little bit slower to move around.
Well, that sounds not gonna get old. I should definitely put more points into laser, huh? Alright, this might be a bit of a longer episode, since we're doing two stages today. Let's do some big lasers. Try and stop some of those attacks from going through. Guys, we're starting to get a little low on health, and I'm a little bit concerned about that. Go away. And... The train! Marine Express is a weapons cache. With... Cache, sorry. Was this part, a part of his plans? Alright, let's do some big laser shit. As we can. And another one. Wait, this. Yeah, cool, this does wipe out those shots. And another one. And another one. <laughs> we are playing on easy, I'm gonna take advantage of it. How many shots does this take? I really need some health, huh? Take these guys out. Oh boy, we might die here. As much as I don't, as much as I'd like to avoid it. There we go. Let's continue. Yeah, damn. So we lost our score and we lost our supers. Sucks a bit, but what can I do? What happens if I go... Alright, cool. I thought that was an extra super there. Hit left, cool. That worked. There we go. I don't know how you do this really about taking damage. Really carefully, I guess. A lot of dashes and stuff. Oh! Oh, Wally! Waiting for you, Asher. I jumped onto this train while following Dead Cross. He's locked himself up there, but I can't get any closer than this. I told Kennedy to keep an eye on the train, but where did he go? Kennedy? It's actually my nephew. He's been acting as my assistant, but, well, let's just say he's confused right now. We can talk about that later. You have to be careful. Yes, sir. Oh, you're still alive. But can you handle the latest model robot? Ruboid? 
Is a red boy doing this train? Alright. Time for more deadly lasers. I don't know whose health this is. The rob the big robots? No. No, dead cross's health. Okay. Probably animation with him, like, on the ground, but that's fine. Cool. Another stage down. And we've got Dead Cross. Definitely doing laser next. Give it up, Dead Cross. You have nowhere to run now. Oh, you... you look exactly like President Rag. Yes, that's because I originally created Rag in my image. I wanted to become the next president, so I made a robot that looks exactly like me to run my campaign. Flew around the world to make speeches and promoted me. Everyone, I am Rock and I'm running for president. Once I'm president, I shall revoke all the rights of all robots. The human society will be pure once again, I promise. Yes, we must make robots understand they are nothing but tools. My robotic clone was very smart and learned to think on its own. First, I had entrusted it to speak and run on my behalf, but then. The Rock. What? Robots are only human tools? You didn't worry about such things. Just act like the puppet you are and repeat what I say. But silence. Are you going to stand? Are you going to stand in against me? No, sir. I will obey. But it's not an act of its own free will. Hey, everyone, I have something to confess to you all. I'm not Candidate Rock. I'm a robotic re replica created by Mr. Rock. I've been working as him until now. But I stand before you today to announce that I have had enough. It's true that robots were created by humans to serve them. Yet, yeah, are we just tools? Say obey the commands of a crook who wishes to deceive you all? I don't think so. Humans and robots should coexist as friends who help each other. So, I would like to run for president as myself, Rag. Not as a puppet for Mr. Rock, but as a robot with mind of its own. The future of humans and robots. The result? Rag won the presidency by a landslide. It humiliated me. I lost my dignity and my life, everything. The only place I could go to find peace was underground. All I could do was watch my robotic double take my position. My own double. Do you understand how I... Now, how I became dis disgraced? That was when I started wearing the mask. I became Dead Cross, the leader of the Black Looks. I have been waiting for a chance to get my revenge on robots for a long time. So, but it's over now. Do as you will. Anyway, let's go to the Antarctic and tell the police. What? What is this? Wait now, this isn't the bottom of the ocean. What's going on here? Welcome to the Mu Empire. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Minister Don Dracula. This is the ruler of the Mu Empire and Prince of the Free Eye family, Sharaku. <laughs> Welcome, you foolish future outlanders. You will work for me until you drop dead. This underwater train is exactly what I was dreaming of. Capture them. Oh no. Never you'll never catch us. You two, stay close to me. What is that? Hook. Hook, you're interrupting me again. Get some soldiers. They're headed towards Sapphire Castle. Don't lose them. Next time on Astro Boy Mega Factor, Stage 6. Where we're apparently going to be in the Ancient Empire of Mu. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.